All right, how's everybody doing? It's finally time to get to this. Um, first of all, I need to thank my son Matthew for scoring this for me. A little deal of Creed Green Irish Tweed. And we're putting it up against Sharp Dressed Man by Sterling Soap Company. Now, I've had this cologne for a year. This is the one I've worn. I know exactly how it performs. So, I didn't test it because I know how it works. I tested this. How did I test it? Yesterday, I just put it on like I normally would. Put a spray behind here, spray behind here, usually one or two right here. And I like to hit a spray right there in my in my elbow crotch. I've discovered that I think that's a good way to do it. Now, what did I notice about this? Now, everybody knows the notes on this, but I will still post the notes in detail in the description field. I noticed that the notes on this, on the top end, were a lot more defined. They were more detailed. The, uh, the, uh, Fruitiness, the, uh, I believe lime was one of the notes. I cannot remember, so forgive me. I'll have the description. But the top notes in this are more distinguishable than they are in the, uh, in the, uh, Sharp Dressed Man by Sterling. But I noticed after a couple hours in, when the dry down really began to set in, that these two are neck and neck as far as scent goes. Um... The cheapest I've seen green Irish tweed is for a 50 milliliter bottle and I saw it for 209. Not many of us had that kind of money to drop. Although I am gonna be hanging on to this because this smells great. Um, this is $26, uh, it's five with shipping. But, like I said, the notes in the real green Irish tweed are more defined on top they're still here in this one quite a bit, but it's the middle notes in this one that seem to take over during the uh, initial spray. Um, when the dry down begins, like I said, they're both neck and neck. I did notice that the green Irish tweed began to fade a little bit, a little quicker than I would expect it to. But from my study and my research, when you have floral top notes, they tend to dissipate quickly. Correct me if I'm wrong on that in the comments, but that's what I've read. Um, is this a better fragrance than the uh, Sterling? Yeah, it is. But is it a $200 or $300 better fragrance than the Sterling? No, I don't think so. I mean, if I had the money to buy some of this, I will buy some of this. No questions asked. But for the majority of us, and if you don't have these side by side, unless you're really familiar with Green Irish Weed, you're going to be hard pressed to know the difference. This is great. And plus, with Sterling, you get, they make bath soaps and they make shampoo bars to go along with this scent. And if you're a wet shaver, um, you get the soap and the aftershave to go along with that too. And I wanted to say something about wet shaving. If you want to get into wet shaving, but you don't want to give up your cartridge razors, you can still use these awesome soaps. And they will elevate your shaving game to another level entirely. Even with Harry's or any other kind of cartridge razor you prefer, it'll take it to the next level. Plus, you'll get to use some of these awesome, uh, awesome aftershaves and soaps from Sterling or any other soap company for that matter. So, what's my recommendation? Well, obviously, if you have the money and you can afford it, get Green Irish Tweed. But you owe it to yourself for the price to give this one a, a test. This is an excellent rendition or tribute to Green Irish Tweed. Don't pass it up. Give it a shot. And if you decide to place an order online, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not a shill. I'm just a fanboy 
If you order it online, tell them you heard about this on the Cross-Eyed Texan just to let them know where you uh, got the information from. But give, give this a shot. And, uh, you know, when you order it, try out the bath soaps that match this fragrance You in the, in the shampoo bar. If you never use a shampoo bar, man, those things are fantastic. Anyway, I'm not an educated frag head yet. I'm still learning. But as far as I'm concerned, when the dry down starts, these two smell almost exactly the same. This one takes it in the opening for the first 45 minutes. This one seems to last a little bit longer because of the bass notes seem to be a little more amplified. If I had to put it in audio terms, this would be an equalizer set almost flat. This would be an equalizer with a little bit of a U-curve in it. So the mids are scooped out and the bass and the treble are amped up a little bit. That's exactly how I look at it, if you make any sense. But seriously, give this a try. Next up, let me reach back here and grab something. I also have a vial, a test vial of Himalaya by Creed. And this is Creed's version of Himalaya. This is called Ramblin' Man. And I just put some of that on my hand. And honestly, these two are even closer. So this is what I'm testing today. Um, and I'll let you know in the next day or two how it works. I think I probably need more than a sample vial to really get a, get, get a, get a good idea of what it's like. So I'm going to order me a travel spray of the Creed Himalaya. That's actually not too expensive. But anyway, if this was helpful to you at all, be sure and like the video. If you like videos about wet shaving and, and hardware and software as it relates to shaving and aftershaves and men's grooming and uh, fragrances, man, subscribe to the channel. It's a small channel. I need all the help I can get. I try to learn from the best and... Uh, do a lot of reading so I can educate myself on everything. But I appreciate all 219 of my subscribers. Also, while it's still Suicide Awareness Month, I wanted to point this out. Rocking the Dak Prescott Foundation shirt, Your Life Matters. I will put a link to the Dak Prescott Foundation in the bottom. Uh, he lost a, a family member, his brother, in suicide. So I applaud the guy for uh, bringing that front and center in. It's still September, so... Thank you guys for watching. God bless. Have a fantastic Tuesday.